Peace, love, and light. It's your girl, Issa Earth Angel, back with another video bringing you light to the darkness and balance to the light. So today, I had a really great video that I've been trying to get out for like a year now because I have been um, really researching certain things and really studying. And today's message is angel numbers um, can be angel numbers. They can be numbers for manifestations. They can be demon numbers, and they also can be scriptures in the Bible. Yes. Yeah, we're going to mix it all together. And a lot of people say how the Bible isn't really spiritual, but it is a spiritual book, even though it is has a lot of, you know, religion came from it or religion has been brought into it. That has just been the deception. Um, Just like how there's a whole bunch of ancient texts and books that have been derived in the Bible. It's also been derived in a lot of the other Africanism books that we have out there. And I have them all. Like, I ain't shy. I will read. Um, I really get in. Like, I just finished reading the Quran and um over again I have the Kabbalion that I've read like twice the Emerald Tablets that I've read Emerald Tablets and um now I just got my new book the Holy Bible and I'm going to be going through there and just doing different highlights and everything so I can be able to um see how it relates to myself but the angel numbers a lot of people you see the angel numbers all over now um, whenever they see them, they feel as though they are manifesting numbers or reassurance from our angels and our ancestors, ancestors, which is true. But everything there's two sides to it as well. So we know that one 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 manifesting um, mega manifestors two two two. Don't worry, trust that everything is working out in divine plan. Three three three, ascended masters are near you. Four four four, the angels are near you. Five five five, changes is coming. Six six six, balanced, or it could be the number of the beast. Seven seven seven. God's numbers. Three, 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 three and seven is God's number. So seven, 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 all is well. And you know, you're in high favor, or you know, that's the God number. Eight, 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 abundance, nine, 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 completion. You know, we know them, we can look them up. Whenever we look them up, they might have similar um, you know, meanings to them. So we're able to use those and we're able to see those. And because we have free will, because we have the power of manifestation or manipulate manipulation, we're able to make those things a part of our reality. So whenever I see an angel number it might be a warning it might be used as um a, a, a demon number to you know if something bad is about to happen but whenever i see that i shift the frequency and the energy and i'm like i know i see that 555 changes positive changes are going to happen not negative changes positive changes using the words and frequencies to speak things into existence because those things can be manifested at a higher rate especially when you're very spiritual especially when you're doing things behind the scenes and things are happening in the spiritual community or the spiritual realm that you don't know of you'll be able to be able to stop things and shift it so that's with one thing with the angel numbers and then with the demon numbers i felt like Whenever I got into, I always was in numerology and I'm able to calculate the numbers and put them together, come to one common denominator and know what that means was one independence, two is that union, three is that completion because there's three of them and then four is that foundation. Five, again, is that change or that transformation. Also, six, the transformation and finding balance within the mind. Seven is coming in with that total God's completion. Eight coming in with that abundance. Okay, that money coming. Nine coming in with the completion as well. The absolute completion because it's right before the 10 when we start back all over again. It's new beginnings, new changes, new environments. So, you know, whenever we see those numbers, we're able to manifest them into our reality. We know what they mean, but we can shift them and change them to be exactly what we want to see in our reality. But then when we went in with the Jamantra, that's when we started getting a little bit, you know, dark side. Because <laughs> whenever I got into it, I was realizing that it was revealing a lot of what my, my destiny might be. It was revealing revealing a lot to me of what was going on but it was revealing the darkest things you know the things that was going in the background the things that we can't see so i realized that it was more of like the demon numbers that we were putting into the search bar into the gematria gematria so it was like demon numbers because angels speak to us and also demons speak to us and they can take forms they can take shapes and they can also you know try to manipulate us and, and get us to fear or have worry or doubt and shame and all those different low vibrational frequencies and energies but but they're, they're there so it's to be wary of it you got to think what am I thinking of when I'm seeing that angel number okay what's happening in my life right now when I'm seeing that angel number could it be an angel speaking to me or a demon speaking to me because you have to be able to discern you have to be able to know
know. And also, you got to realize that you're the one that can manifest those things into your reality at the end of the day. It's all about what you agree to, what you accept, and what you put your will for. And then what just came above me, um, what just came to me is that the scriptures also. So whenever you uh, see 222, right, you can look up um, chapter 2, verse 22. And then you realize that that scripture is speaking on something that I'm going through right now. Okay, you don't have to keep, because I don't know why people think whenever you read the Bible that you're... Um, a Christian like you know we you can read princess diary and that don't mean you're a princess like the book doesn't determine your faith the book doesn't determine your um your status it's only to rely on it's only to go back and get that connection with God or creator or higher purpose or higher self and it also can reveal to you a lot of the things that you might be going through they went through those things in the bible they went through those things in um all those other spiritual books and everything you know they took bits and pieces out of everything and, and then plus it's been rewritten by man even you know how things from our ancestors been rewritten by man so you know you have to know exactly what is what but you can still rely on these certain things to you know have some type of comfort Comfort or have some type of um, reference confirmation things like that so that's what I've been doing a lot lately because the angel numbers was really helping me um, for a while just for me to feel happy and uh, feel like I'm actually you know uh, connecting with angels and everything like that but then when I went into Jamantra and I was getting the back side of that I'm like oh no this ain't too good you know these can also they can be a double sword a double edge a double meaning to the numbers that we're seeing you know so and we might be opening ourselves to certain energies and, and frequencies entities and and all those type of things just by believing in it because belief in everything so what i've been doing lately is getting back into the bible and reading the story over and i tell you i only read the bible twice okay i was never a big on any type of religion um grew up spiritual and everything so when i got into when I went to St. Louis and I was around a lot of demonic energies and I was attacked on another personal level, that's when I had found God and Creator the first time. And I started reading the um, reading the Bible at night and it really, you know, helped me because I felt like I was delivered out of that situation, brought back home with my family. And also I would just speak in my head. I would just say different things, you know, just keeping that connection and contact, just like, you know, just praying, just like, give me, um, give me out of the situation. Help me. Can you, um, give me knowledge? Can you wish me, give me wisdom, knowledge and, and everything like that. And I was like literally taken from that situation and brought back home and like was on a whole good positive path. And like, I was like doing my life purpose and doing everything that I was supposed to be doing. And, uh, after I was deterred and, you know, leading into more doing certain things as in, um, you know, different practices and traditions, things I had no business dealing with, then I got off my path once again. And so now I have bought myself a Bible and a pink, and I'm going to connect with this Bible and I'm going to be able to, um, you know, see where myself was in there because I also was Mary and Mary Magdalene and different past lives where a piece of my, my, my spirit was in them. So, you know, even if they say that the stories isn't real, those experiences, those stories are based on someone's life, based on a lot of the chosen one's life in different past times, past lives and everything like that. So there's always half truths and half truths to certain things. And so what I've been doing is looking up um, whenever I see an angel number, I look up the number um, of the chapter in the verse that is the triple digit of the angel number. And it's been um, really liberating because it's been giving me a lot of reassurance because it's telling me exactly what I'm going through. And it's also telling me a message um, from God or the creator or my angels that want to communicate with me. And I also have done that with the Quran as well. So you can use both of them to um, get a deeper message if you're getting the same thing over again and you're seeing these angel numbers over and over again why not look at another perspective why not um you know see what the other side of it really is you know if you want to have the the knowledge or the understanding and want to know like both sides of the both ends and there's like the left path or the right hand path but if you're just like narrow and in the middle, you know, both of those things may apply to you and they may have some type of influence in your life. So that's what I've been doing. And I realized that, you know, it, it could be true and it's it really resonates to me a lot. So that was my message today that angel numbers can be demon numbers to watch out and be warned for that. Angel numbers can also be messages from your angels, different signs that you're on the right path. Angel numbers can also be 
uh, messages and angel numbers in the Bible that's telling you different scriptures and things you need to know. So that's my message today. Sending you lots of abundance and peace.